It's 9 a.m. Green salad up, a green salad down. And I don't know why I woke up so late. After loads of tweaking and wasting like two, three DVDs because of the menus and the quality and things like that, here is the final DVD. Well, the first version of the final DVD. Whoa. Whoa. And if you put it in, the computer. Woohoo! It works! Which means that if you are part of the crew or the cast of the movie, you're gonna get a DVD of the movie. I'm gonna make all of those, hopefully all of them today, and either I'll send them out to you or I'll just give them to you in person next time we see each other. Thanks again to everyone who was a part of the project. It was amazing. And we're looking into the festivals right now and we're gonna be having the projection, like I said, the other one, the other projection sometime this spring. Um, you'll of course know about it. But uh, yeah, really happy, really happy that that's done and all figured out. Time to start the review um, thing. Not too sure what this vlog's gonna be, but we'll see. I don't know if you can hear that. It would appear that Switzerland is under attack. We're not, it's just like exercises they do. Um, they last for a while. Last minute planning is always the best kind of planning. It is seven, I got a train in 12 minutes, and then at 7.30, another train with Toby. We are seeing The Lobster tonight. Meant to be really good, it's with Colin Farrell, Lea do. It's a comedy thing where people get turned to animals if they don't find a romantic partner. Should be really good. Excited for it, looking forward to it. Let's go. As I was walking up to the station, there was a very thin patch of ice I did not see. So I slipped and fell on the ice. Um, it's nothing, you know. Uh, that hand a little more because I was you know, trying to catch myself. Um, my leg a little bit, but it's nothing, nothing major at all. I'm still going to go see the movie. My earphones are broken though because I was listening to music. My phone is totally okay, but my earphones are not. The jack bent completely, like out of shape. So they're unusable, so that's another 30 bucks for Apple earbuds. Thanks, Apple. There were no spelling mistakes in my French thing. In your French thing, really? Yeah, not that I noticed, at least. Wow. It's 11.30. Uh, <laughs> Toby made it onto the train and I didn't because it was still on there and he was, and he ran and I ran, but he was ahead of me. And I didn't know if he was on there or not, but he was, and I didn't want to take it in case he wasn't in there. So basically he's uh, on his way home now and I'm not. Great. Um, so I think I gotta wait like half an hour for the next train, which is always fun. I might go get a subway in the meantime. I'm kinda hungry. In all fairness, he tried. He held the door, but then the guy blew the whistle, so, you know, the train had to leave. He shouted. I didn't hear. It was also partly my fault. I should have just ran faster. I thought he was just checking as opposed to actually going. Anyway, point is, I'm here. I got a half hour to kill. Thank God Subway's open. It said they were open. They were not. They're liars. I don't know if the McDonald's is still open. Maybe. That's an option. If it's open. I mean, it's right there across the street. It looks pretty open to me. Is it open? These two guys. Yeah, it's open. It is open. Thank you, McDonald's. McDonald's is always there. That's awesome. It's like always open whenever I need it. Cheeseburger Royale. You know what they call a, 
A quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris. They don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese? Oh, man, they got the metric system. They wouldn't know what the fuck a quarter pounder is. And what do they call it? They call it uh, Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. That's right. Since I have 15 minutes to kill, I might as well tell you guys about the movie. I saw The Lobster, uh, a movie this year with Colin, Fer no, Colin Farrell, Lea Sedu, and a couple other uh, actors. Obviously, it's not just the two of them. Very unusual, very unexpected, especially in terms of the plot. You know, when you thought things were going to go one way, just BAM! No! Com something completely different, so incredibly unpredictable. Um, the concept is simple. The concept is there's these people, and when they can't find love anymore when they're alone, they're put into a hotel and they have 45 days to, you know, mingle with others and find love there. And if they don't, they're turned into an animal. There's some very absurd moments that are just pure gold. Very clever dialogue, very funny at parts, also very tragic in, by, in certain moments, uh, certain scenes. Shot on film, surprisingly. Some pretty good acting, too. Um, very detached, a very detached style of acting, which was... Which was a commentary, presumably, I think, on um, how what we say, you know, when, when we talk, we don't really say much. Or, you know, when, when we talk, um, what we say doesn't actually have any meaning. It's just words, uh, filler, if you will. And that's sort of what that movie explores in a sense. And also, constant relationships and, and why and, and that, that whole thing. Um, it's, it's not for everyone. It's not incredibly fast-paced. So in that sense, kind of artsy. But I loved it. I really, really, really loved it, and I highly recommend it. So the train I was supposed to take is broken down somewhere at a station, no news about that. So I got another train, but that one's gonna be 13 minutes late. What a mess. It's 10 past 1 a.m., I just got home, and here's the outro that I shot earlier. Don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed it, comment if you got something to say, and subscribe if you wanna see daily vlogs. See you guys tomorrow.